Hello, good afternoon car buyers. I'm Neil from Bath Cars and today's car is the Nissan Elmira. This is a 1.5. Uh, I think it's the SE version. You'll see in the logbook a bit later. But uh, it's not looking too bad actually. It's uh, got a little bit of uh, a few cosmetic blemishes here and there. But uh, this car's done 155k. It's the SE model. It is the SE. I've got some nice fresh number plates coming for it as well actually, uh, which will uh, brighten it up a little bit. Uh, there are four parking sensors on the back, all colour coordinated. Wheel trims, so there's no alloys to mess about with. And it's got a timing chain, so there's no cam belt either to have to worry about. Uh, the 155 it's covered has uh, left this car still driving very, very well indeed. It's just passed its MOT, so a brand new ticket on it. Uh, the tax is elapsed, I'm afraid, but it's not a great uh, expensive tax bracket. It's in the medium range tax bracket. And the 1500cc is really relatively good on fuel and uh, it's a five speed manual but as i say it does drive absolutely spot on it feels like it's done 35 50k something like that not the 155 it's traveled i think it's just uh, one owner as well if i'm not mistaken uh, or one owner for the vast majority of its uh, lifespan unfortunately it's had a little bit of incident on this front corner here uh but a bit of touching up or some uh, a quick bumper retrim wouldn't hurt and there's some light scratches down here which have left some black uh, rubbery marks on there which should polish out uh, relatively easily. But bar for that, I think that's all there is to worry about it really. Mechanically, it starts and drives really well. It's very comfy inside, it's got decent spec. There's a rear wiper, a high level brake light, a heated rear screen. The interior is pretty tidy, the boot space is in clean order. And if I'm not mistaken, I saw in here a wheel brace jack and there's a tyre on a steel wheel which has got a fair bit of tread on it and is inflated. There are folding rear seats and three headrests and three inertia reel belts. What we got here? Oh, that's the audible warning for the parking sensors. Okay, so a five door, nice and handy for a small family and uh, electric windows all around. It's got remote locking with both keys. Okay, so let's run around the tires. BF Goodridge on the back here, about 60% to go. Um, another uh, BF Goodridge, and he's about half worn. Bit of light st uh, stone chipping to the bonnet. Uh, the headlights are these new style type of headlights on an 05 plate, so it's a relatively modern car. Oops. Okay, where did we get to? So, uh, tyres still, I think we were on. Uh, tire half worn on that one, wheel trim's a bit battered, could do with a new wheel trim. And uh, another decent tyre here, BF Goodridge. It's got BF Goodridges all around, and that's a bit better than half worn. So, just looking at that, then you can see the uh, marking on the door there. Let's go and have a look at the history. Okay, welcome to the history and documents then for this Almira. Uh, we have the V5 here, it's a 1.5 SE car and just two owners in total, uh, Asgard Vehicle Rentals plus one private keeper, uh, Craven's Arms SY7 was the uh, postcode for that, possibly a Welsh postcode, not quite sure. Craven Arms, not quite sure where that is. Anyway, it's look, it's a 1497cc with 160 grams per kilometre on the 05 registration March a uh, five-door car in silver. Uh, the tax of the car is about £180 per year. Unfortunately, it's elapsed. Um, I do have the uh, old tax disc. The MOT has elapsed currently. I'm going to take it for a new MOT uh, as we speak. So it should have a new MOT, but the, uh, there were no advisories on the last MOT at uh, 2012, February 27th, 2012. So it'll have a MO fresh MOT until March the 7th, 2014. Uh, some recent bills I found here, which are um, uh, all in 20, well, actually 2012 for these two. Let's run through the, the oldest one first. So at 147,000 miles, I had a clutch kit. Some clutch oil came to £301, so a brand new clutch fitted. Uh, in December 2012, it had a £268 bill, which is a service including spark plugs, air filter, brake pads in the rear, and a bulb or two, uh, £268. At uh, January 2013, it had a new centre and rear exhaust sections and gaskets, etc. came to £201. So, three nice big bills there. Uh, we've got um, basically the original service book. Uh, we've got two of them actually. One with the original sticker, supplying sticker. And this one here, which um, has got a load of stamps in it. 
come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. So stamps in the service book go 8,000, 10,000, 28,000 uh, in 2007. Then a big jump. Uh, 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 yeah, must have done a hell of a lot of mileage. Uh, 40,000 miles uh, in that year. Uh, 90, uh, 81k, uh, 92k, um, 112, 122, 137. And these are the services from those company there, that company there. Uh, 153, which is that bill there. So 153, 11th of the 12th, 2012. So books present. Spare key in the envelope. Two keys with the car. And then this was the supply and dealer, Wessex Garages, big main dealer in Bristol. Uh, the old Type V5 is with it as well. Uh, there's the bill. The supply and dealer charged £8,394 in 2006. So, OK, we've done a lot of miles since then. It had, what was the mileage? Um, mileage, 9,900 miles. So that guy there, Brian, uh, previous keeper, did almost, what, 145,000 miles in that car since 2006, he's practically lived in it. But he spent the money, and he's a good chap, so he's serviced it all well, and as far as I can see, it drives very well. So there we go then, um, new V5, uh, new style of V5, MOT, brand new MOT with the car, two keys, service book, just been serviced, had a clutch as well, happy days. Okay, so we're moving into the interior of the car, electric windows on the front, uh, electric windows on the rear. Driver's side airbag, a couple of airbags in the seats. Not too bad in condition on the seats. A little bit soiled inside. It's not the, it's not immaculate by any means, but it's not that bad. I was quite happy to run around in it. If you've got kids, it's only going to get worse, isn't it? So, not too bad in the back. Up front here, we've got a decent amount of just adjustment on the seat. I mean, that seat's in very good order for 155k. Unfortunately, this, the, there's a little hole in the carpet where the foot rest, the foot's gone through it. Put some carpet mats in here and it'll all be fine. Fingertip control, hi-fi. We've got ABS brakes. Airbag lights all go out. That engine sounds absolutely perfect. Absolutely spot on. Nice radio cassette player, sorry, radio CD player with a head-up uh, display there for clock and air conditioning. Decent cup holder. This great lighter doesn't look like it's had much use. The clutch is very light, and of course it has had a new clutch, if you've been paying attention in the service history bit. The clutch feels absolutely spot on. Nice and light pedal, really good biting point. Handbrake feels good as well. Steering wheel's actually not in that bad condition for the uh, mile mileage it's done. There's a little centre armrest in there as well. So I hope that's uh, not bored you to death too much, but the glass is all good as well. So in order, in all really, a uh, fairly up together Nissan Elmira with a little bit of bodywork to the bumpers and that scratched on the side, but for a couple of hundred quid you could have that car looking pretty nice and bright and shiny. Nice fresh set of number plates will help it along as well. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Shot, two shots, three for the shot.